first. <laughs> Look at this side. It's the Jello Jack. All right, so we set out all morning, and one of the things I said was that I'm only doing artificial. Aaron just threw a bunch of bait out, and I just smashed one on artificial. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> There's more. But yeah, just using a little artificial. Oh, there they are. That's the yellow jack? Yep. Right behind the boat. What's going on? <laughs> you can walk over here. Oh, go after mine too. Alright, after off in this one. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That was cool. We all came up together. We all kind of handed that one to me. There we go. Yellow Jack. <laughs> Another Yellow Jack. I just need your step, like step wherever you need to be. Is your camera on? I think so. Artificial will. Artificial. <laughs> yeah. These are absolutely incredible sushi. I'm gonna do something different though. I'm gonna use the filet, which I never really get to do. But these guys are a very sustainable catch. But uh, we're gonna brain and bleed, throw them in the box. There we go. Yeah. Little cool drag, but that's good. Nice one. Ah. Oh, that makes up for the two I lost. Hey now. <laughs> So I don't know if I said it actually earlier, what we're gonna make is yellow jack parm sandwiches. So I have my cleaned yellow jack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them all as one. Uh, actually, we're gonna split them apart. And make a couple of cutlets here. If my bread was a little wider, I would have kept them whole, but all right, that works. All right, so in front of me, all I have is uh, flour, a beaten egg, and uh, seasoned bread crumb, breadcrumbs. So, you know what? I skipped a very important step here. And this is the difference between our food being okay and our food being delicious. Season the fish before we bread it. Just salt. Now, now we can bread it. So flour, egg wash, and breadcrumb. We're gonna do that process again to try to get a nice thick coating on here. But actually, there we go. There you go. That is our breaded yellow jack cutlet. We're gonna do that to the other two and then we'll get our sauce going. So I want that egg to air dry a little bit and that'll actually help seal in that coating onto that fish. So we're gonna let these air dry and now we're getting started on our sauce. This is gonna be an incredibly simple marinara sauce. Just a little bit of olive oil, and we throw in, I have uh, chopped garlic and chopped onion. 
So it's okay that I put these in while it wasn't hot because I just want them to sweat down. I don't necessarily want them to take on any color. So we're gonna let those sweat down for about five minutes. Actually add some salt. This will speed up the process, pull all the uh, moisture out of those onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper flakes. And a little bit of oregano. And what I have here is a can of just crushed tomatoes. Nothing added to it. And we'll let this cook down maybe about 10-15 minutes. Just a little bit. I don't need it cooked down that much because we're throwing this into the oven on our sandwiches. While the sauce is cooking down, I'm just going to toast our hero rolls. Just lightly toast them in the oven real quick. There we go. Just lightly toasted. Now we're back at the stove. I have my sauce over here that's still cooking down a little bit. My bread is toasted. So now we're going to brown our breadcrumbs on our cutlets. So I have this up to a medium high heat and we will go olive oil in there. Generous amount. Now, I'm not trying to cook the fish at all. All I want to do is brown my breadcrumbs, then we're going to pull these out because that fish is going in the oven on our sandwiches. Perfect. That one is perfect. All right. That beautiful brown. I always go to a paper towel. That'll soak up any of the excess oil. Oh, perfect. All right. And our next two. Pan's pretty hot, so these two will be pretty fast. Okay, so now I have all of my uh, components. I have my sauce, my cutlets, and over here I have Grana Padano, which is a lot like a Parmesan cheese. We're gonna grate some of that on. I have uh, whole milk mozzarella and a key ingredient, a couple of uh, basil leaves from our garden. And I'm getting my oven set, getting my oven set to 350 degrees because we're gonna build these, then we're gonna put them in the oven to get the cheese to melt. And the best part about that yellow jack is that it doesn't need to be cooked all the way through. You can eat that as sushi, you can eat it as sashimi. So it's pretty forgiving. So I'm just gonna wait until the cheese is melted and then pull it out regardless if that filet is cooked or not. But I have a feeling with the searing and in the oven, it'll be just cooked through. So let's build our sandwiches. All right, we'll take the tops off. So you just need the bottoms to go in. So I'll go a little tomato. And one of the reasons you want to cook down that tomato sauce is just to cook off some of the water so that it's nice and thick and doesn't just spill out of your sandwich. That is very, very important. Right? Look at that. It's like a perfect fit. <laughs> a little bit of our Grana Padano, which, like I said, is like Parmesan. You could just use Parmesan. Now, I'm going to put a couple of basil leaves, some more of our sauce. This guy's going to have to go against the corner there like that. It stays up straight. And now our mozzarella.
That'll have to work. Let's put a little more granite potato on top. Okay. These are going into the oven, 350, probably about 10 minutes. All right, our cheese is melted. Oh. Look at those. Woo. Might need to let that cool just for a second. <laughs> oh, that is hot. We got one off. Put the top on. <laughs> that that looks good. I couldn't be happier with that. The fish is just cooked through, still moist. Oh, these are gonna be good. All right, you're live. Does that mean I can eat it? Yeah. Yellow Jack Parm. I mean, if you didn't tell me it was fish and you looked at it, I would think it was chicken for sure. It looks like chicken. Wow. <laughs> you could have fooled me. That's incredible. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm like not saying anything because I'm like, my mind's not understanding. <laughs> I should have made this for the really Iron Chef. Good, seriously. <laughs> oh, you'd have had Zach all day for sure. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's unbelievable. Literally. Never, never in a million years could anyone tell that was not chicken. I mean, maybe because you don't get that, unless it was like a it's breast the and chew. it got the chew. Yeah. But a tender or anything? Wow. Morally, this goes against everything in my nature to cook fish this way with this much cheese and everything else, but... I'm not mad about it. If I was pescatarian and didn't eat chicken, I would, make, I would make these oh, all day. Oh, So, and also morally, because yellow jack is so amazing raw, it's so... It almost feels like a sin to cook it. It's like, it's too perfect raw, but this is... I'm very impressed. All right. So am I. I'm really happy with this. I'm going to make Zach one, and I'm going to bring him because I have enough to make him one. Like, hey, I made you a chicken parm. Yeah, I'm bringing him one. The guy <laughs> the, the guy that you guys tore to shreds because he doesn't like fish. Zach does like fish, but he just doesn't eat it that often. I'm going to bring him one of these. He'd be well, thrilled. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, share it, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya. Wow. <laughs> That's unbelievable.